Hello everybody, what's up? How to set up a Loki lighting using just one lamp? And I'm Gabriel Alexander, by the way. So, what is Loki lighting? First of all, Loki lighting can be characterized by high contrast between lit and dark areas. It usually serves the purpose of emphasizing the form of the model, its shape, its volume. What else? Usually the light is direct uh, and the background is very dark, almost black. Very often we can see the very strong rim light or edge light and the lighting is hard. We can approach Loki lighting using just one light and that is more than enough. Because, you know, less is more. So here I'm starting with an ambient lighting. Then I'm disabling it to be able to see my area light more clearly. And what I'm doing here, I'm just setting up one point lighting and then I'm calibrating the exposure and the gamma. And try not to place your light too close to the object because then the light will wrap around the object and we will not achieve the edge lighting. Okay, one more thing, white tone mapping or a color grading is so important when you're dealing with low-key lighting. Because in color grading we may set up the film emulation. And that means that the blacks will be crushed, just like in real photo. And you know, when you have just one angle and just one chance to set up the lighting, you may as well pick up the best angle. And personally, I'd like to start with a complete darkness and then put on the lights. And here I will switch back to the default mode of the color management. And as you can see, it reveals so many details in the shadows and we don't need it. We need a pitch dark shadows, almost black. Alright, and the next thing regarding the low-key lighting is the hard light. And looking at that picture, you can see how the very soft ambient lighting is spilling onto the wall from the window. And obviously the lighting is so soft because the light source, the window, and the sky is so big. When we get in the spotlight in our scene, uh, you can see how shadows become much more harder. And these sharp highlights just remind me of the film noir. All these crime scenes where the light is shining through the blinds on a detective's face. So just to repeat one more time, big light means a soft light and the small and bright light means a harsh light. For example, in this scene I have moved the light very close to the iron tin and you can see how lighting is became very soft. And when I add a reflector it becomes even worse uh, for a low-key lighting scenario because we are lowering the contrast. And the trick to low-key lighting is to maintain very high lighting contrast ratio between lit and dark areas, as you remember. So here I'm moving the light away from the object and the shadows become much more harder and we're getting closer to this low-key lighting look. Okay, and the next thing to talk about is the edge lighting, it is called the rim lighting sometimes. And one of the biggest mistakes we can make is to think that edge lighting means exactly edge lighting. And that's not true, because so-called edge lighting can illuminate the object from this side, or even from above, like in horror movies. So when you're trying to set up the edge lighting in your low-key lighting scenario, move the light around and see what parts of the silhouette looks the most interesting and terrifying. Like the changes I'm making right now and ooh, that freaks me out. And you know, I really hope you will show me your nightmarish creatures that you made using low-key lighting. Hopefully. And I'm Gleb Alexandrov, thank you so much for watching this crap and see you next time on the next tutorial about lighting. Oh, and don't forget to share this thing.